Hi, I'm Lynn, and in this video I'll be explaining direct discrimination and indirect discrimination. The Equality Act 2010 protects you from discrimination, harassment and victimisation on the grounds of nine protected characteristics. Other types of discrimination and those protected characteristics are explained in other videos in this series. Direct discrimination happens when you're treated less favourably because of a protected characteristic. So for example, an employer only wishes to employ barmaids in their bar and refuses to employ a man. That would be direct discrimination and the man could compare himself to more favourable treatment that's been given to a woman. Direct discrimination can never be justified except on the grounds of age. I'll come back to the meaning of justification in a moment. You can also be protected from discrimination on the grounds of perception, where someone perceives you to have a protected characteristic. So for example, if a service provider refuses to provide you with a service because he believes you to be gay, having heard you speak about your support for equal marriage. You would be protected then on the grounds of perception of your protected characteristic. You can also be protected from direct discrimination on the grounds of your association with someone with a protected characteristic. So if you were in a bar with a learning disabled friend and that bar refused to serve both of you, you would both be able to claim discrimination. Your friend on the basis of being disabled and you because of your association with them. Indirect discrimination happens when an employer or a service provider apply the same policies and practices to everyone, but because of a protected characteristic, one group is more disadvantaged by that policy than others. So for example, an employer requires all their employees to be six feet tall. Women would be disadvantaged by that criteria because they are less likely to be able to meet it. Indirect discrimination, however, can be justified. A justification is where there is a proportionate means of achieving a legitimate aim. So in our example, the employer's legitimate aim may be that he requires his employees to be strong. For example, a rescue service where people may need to be rescued from a building. That would be a legitimate aim. However, is requiring a six foot height criteria a proportionate means of achieving that aim. You must consider whether there is a less discriminatory way that you can achieve the aim that you have. So for example, applying a requirement that employees have a certain level of strength may be a more proportionate way of ensuring that staff are able to carry out a job and that would be less discriminatory against women. If you'd like more information, the Commission provides detailed advice and information on the Equality Act on our website, or for advice you can call the Equality Advisory and Support Service, whose details are also on our website. Thank you.